Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement and in this video we will be learning that how we can append the data uh, from the multiple workbooks in, in a particular folder. So in this example as you can see that in my this particular folder I have four workbooks Jan, Fab, March and April and the first condition is that all workbooks contains the data which is in table format and all the table names in all those workbooks are of same name for example let me show you that i have uh, a workbook that is called january in which i have the january data and this data is have been transformed into a table all right so those of you who don't know that how to convert normal data into a table format you just need to select your entire database okay and then you go to insert tab and uh, click on the table option all right i am using excel 2019 whereas if you are using excel 2013 or 2016 the process will still remains the same so you need to select the entire data and uh, convert it into the table Control t is the shortcut key to uh, create your data into a, a table format range so now after uh, creating this data into table format uh, you will find one tab which is called the design tab on the top right side of your this ribbon and in this design tab i have the uh, table name name that is called data i have uh, written down the name which is called the data so in in the january file in the january workbook my this entire table name is called data and similarly in the february workbook my this entire table data is also called called uh, the data so the first scenario we are discussing in this video is that we have a folder in which we have certain excel workbooks and in all those workbooks we have the data in, in a table format which have the similar kind of name which is called the data and how we can append the data from all these four workbooks into a one single workbook let me show you so let me just close this uh, existing opened uh, excel workbooks and we will do this process in a new excel file all right so control n for the new excel workbook and i will go to the data tab if you are using excel 2013 or excel 2016 desktop version you need to have the power uh, query add-in uh, okay to installed in the professional version and if you are using excel 2019 simply you need to go to data tab and here you will find out a group that is called get and transform data in excel 2016 uh, make sure that you have a power query add-in or or i guess that uh, in the data tab you will find the get and transform data whereas i am using excel 2019 here uh, so make sure that uh, this this is available so uh, in the data tab or in the previous versions you need to go to power query tab and you will find the option or feature that is called get data button uh, click on that and uh, here you will have to go from file option over your mouse and then you will find this this sub contextual menu here you will find the option uh, which is called from folder okay so when you click on from folder uh, the folder a short window of the folder will appear and you need to uh, just copy the location of that particular folder which is located in your hard drive i have just copy and paste that location or you can click on browse button and then locate it manually where your folder is being located click ok and now you you see that i have a window which shows me the information uh, and this data is called the metadata and uh, this shows that how many workbooks are there in my particular folder uh, what are those names their extensions their modified created in access dates and what what is the path of all those workbooks so i just need to uh, combine all these workbooks into a one workbook and then load the data okay so at the bottom uh, as you can see that i have this combine option and i will click on combine and load option okay if you want to have some transformation of the data you need to clean up some data or you need to change the data you will go to the transform data first and then you uh, and then you can uh, 
come and combine uh, and load the data but we know that our in this example we have the data is cleaned up we just need to compile all the excel workbooks data into a work one one workbook so we will go to combine and click on combine and load button all right so it will evaluate your query on the back end it will uh, just follow the steps and combine the data um, before that it shows you the combined files window and we need to understand that how it works in the option which is called the example file there you will find the drop down menu and you will see that we have the four workbooks in the in that particular folder and here it gives us example of the first file now what does it means what this option means is that uh, we can set one file as a benchmark and that benchmark pattern will be follow and append the data from all the other workbooks so if you want to have a particular benchmark uh, for example for the march file so all the data existing in the other workbooks will be uh, followed by the same pattern and if you have all the uh, similar pattern in all the workbooks so you can go with the first file option that's it now you know that all the uh, in all the workbooks you have the table format and all the tables are of the same name which is called the data so we need to just click on data it will show you the preview and press the ok button so now all your data will be load in in the new workbook and you can see on my right side uh, all these steps have been uh, followed by the power query and all of our data of all four workbooks have been in the one workbook so easy right and this condition was when we have all the workbooks have same table name in in the data and what happens next month is for example if you add one more workbook here next month we got one more new workbook which is called uh, may all right and um, what i need to do i don't need to follow these steps again i just need to uh, refresh my data so when i refresh my data and in the source you can see that the may data has all now have been added also so once uh, in the the advantage of the power query is that once you define the steps it has been recorded just like a macro and uh, and the next time you just need to click on the refresh button so uh, that similar pattern will be followed by the power query and your data will be loaded so i hope you understand this video and we will be discussing four different more scenarios in the next videos thank you